It's a novel project for Norway. It isn't the first mine that they've done in 40 years. And the processing plant is quite new, so it takes a lot of technical support of information from Hatch to make sure that we get them doing the things that we know to do in the right way. This project's unique in the fact that we have multi-party EPCs and we have to manage that interface and make sure we get the work done efficiently and effectively and we mitigate delays. The setup on this site is that Hatch is integrated with the client team, providing our experience and knowledge while they're building their own team and setting up for operations. This site's now going from construction to commissioning. There's additional hazards getting introduced, motors are starting up, conveyor belts are running. And I think about my own family and, and the goal is to get everybody home to their families safely every day. The involvement um, with Hatch started in 2016-17 with the PFS and then a Bank of Feasibility study, continuing it through the process design. And they've taken on the PMC role and basically part of the owner's team, working with Nordic Mining to execute. It's a mine that's going to produce rutile and, and garnet. It's a compact area, so Hatch has been designing it and we've been giving input. We have an open pit, a blast. The materials are carried down through our shaft. It's only 600 meters from the ore pit to the boat. We are in uh, the western part of Norway. We have a lot of precipitation. So water management has been a challenge. This has been a topic together with Hatch. We've had a construction environmental monitoring plan, like water quality impact assessments, and we've used seeding and minimizing erosion. A lot of perception that comes to mining, but I think the way we are executing it and we are delivering the showing that it can be done sustainably and can be done clean. We've limited the amount of trucks moving around. We basically have the ore shaft in the deposit as well as Norway has got 98% power coming from hydro and we have a direct feed to the grid. We worked well with Hatch in terms of finding solutions in how to get the costs where they need to be but still execute in a safe, operating, friendly manner. A mine that has uh, environmental considerations as well as economic considerations for the community at large. I think what I'm most proud of is just to, to get the plant where we are now. We're about 80% complete on the construction phase. This particular area is windy and very rainy and working that into our already tight schedule, I think it's an achievement. So we always want to work with the best in the industry and early on chose Hatch as our partner and we chose a partner that should be together with us through feasibility studies into construction and also to prove the process design that we build our project for. The importance of that is to have a consistent partner so that we can rely on that partner when we are now starting up our process plant. That's why we choose tier one partner like Hatch for our project.